This video is sponsored by Scentbird. What if there was a way to eat free food for the rest of your life? I'm talking packages, boxes, cases of food, and this is the stuff I decided to keep for myself. Toiletries, clothes, furniture, and even gifts, all for free. All it takes is jumping into a dumpster. After hopping into a dumpster, you will not look at food the same way again. Would you do it? People from all over the world are joining the dumpster diving lifestyle to fight for financial independence and retire as early as 30 years old. But there are a few things you have to overcome. Getting caught can be quite embarrassing. Uh, we had like eight employees come out. Right after we turn the camera off. There are some rules that can't be broken or you'll find yourself in legal trouble. There are also health risks associated with the bacteria breeding in dumpster bins. Is cleaning your dumpster finds really enough? My friend got really sick from eating. Next thing you know, he has a pit for days and vomiting constantly. Some of the things you find may traumatize you. Uh, I am shocked, uh, appalled, I'm angry. Three of them are dead and then one of them in here is still alive. If you're not careful enough, things can take a dark turn. One lady lost her life in the most heartbreaking way. This case brings to light the dangers. Dumpster diving is not safe. Is this behavior even legal? It's taken an unexpected turn, I'll say that. I didn't think I was gonna see all of you today. I'm gonna tell you part. Let's take a look at both amazing and terrifying dumpster finds. People say that one man's trash is another one's treasure. But how far would someone go to get that treasure? Companies are constantly pushing new products to try and make their consumers happy. But when new products move in, old products have to move out. What happens to the stock left over after clearances? Sometimes it ends up in the trash, in perfect shape, just no longer wanted. These people are getting some pretty sweet swag from the dumpsters, and you would likely never know it came from your local trash. TikToker Teresa Kaddish is well known in the dumpster diving community for pulling impressive hauls from dumpsters. In one of her most viral videos with over 11 million views, she had a great find she wanted to share with others. Oh my god, Jerry, there's just so much. I took them all. Oh my god, there's just so many cherries. The entire community came and they ate too, too many cherries together. In another video, she found more fruit in another dumpster and had plans to make it last longer. We're gonna dehydrate these otherwise useless strawberries. The mushiest ones are sorted from the rest and then they're cleaned and cut in half and set on trays. Then they're dehydrated at 135 degrees. She did the same to the bananas. The flesh is bruised in places. It won't last long, but once it's dehydrated, it can become a higher quality food. She jarred the dehydrated fruit to eat at a later date. You may already realize you don't have much of a choice with what you find in the dumpster, and Teresa is well aware of this. She said she doesn't always like to eat the food she finds, but she likes to give it a new life. Call me a snark, but I would never buy this pizza at a store. It's trash whether or not it's in the dumpster, but nonetheless, I can share it with friends. We use what's here. Decay doesn't have to disgust. It brings you life. Maybe fresh fruits aren't your cup of tea. Well, you'll be interested to know there's something for everyone. Several people have found bags of candy and chocolate. Sweet trash. I mean, man, we found some amazing shit out there today. I mean, the kind of shit I didn't think you could find in the trash, you know? This is our score from Dollar General. I am at the Dollar General. Check this out. Look at this. We got Mountain Dew there. Mountain Dew there. We got more down here. Yeah, I don't know why. Literally, this keeps happening to me. A whole bag of M&Ms. And there's Twix, Snickers. We got bags full of snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Boxes of these Lind chocolate Hershey bars. Oh, there's all the candy bars and stuff. Others scored on a dumpster full of frozen meals. This dumpster was full. It's so not delivery, you. it's DiGiorno. We pulled up to this Target dumpster, and everything underneath the top layer was still frozen. There was two dumpsters like this. Guys, look at this. It's full of food. So full of food. Nothing is expired, and everything is still frozen. That's not even a dent. See, it goes all the way to the front. Others found a bountiful supply of snacks. 
All right, guys, so we are checking our local Dollar Tree. Oh, we just scored a Watch huge jackpot right here. Look at all these. That's my Rainbow favorite, Star man. Um, this first part is from CVS. The stuff down in front is from Walgreens. All the stuff in back is from one single dumpster at uh, Dollar Tree. Um, none of this stuff is expired. Six of these, two of these, and I got this whole case of water because one was broke. All these protein bars and protein snacks that I found at GNC. Are you hungry? Do you need a snack? Do you need a smart tart, a lean bar, a complete cookie? Packaged food isn't the only thing you can find in the dump. Fast food restaurants will trash large quantities of leftover stock. TikToker Jenna, also known as Thick Rich Bit, showed off tons of Krispy Kreme donuts in the trash. So to anyone who didn't know, Krispy Kreme throws away all of their donuts in the garbages <laughs> outside their buildings. People had mixed reactions about the thrown out donuts. Bro, I ain't no raccoon. It's like the Krabby Patty vault in Spongebob. I wish they would just put it outside for the homeless people. This is sad. People are starving and they throw food. And this isn't the first time we've heard of donuts being thrown away. In summer of 2021, Dunkin' Donuts was also exposed for dumping donuts, which we discussed in a previous video that'll be linked down below. You'll also be surprised to find out that this current trendy bakery is also allegedly trashing their goodies, crumble cookies. Crumble cookies of the week. Here we go. TikToker Tiffany Sheree, also known as Dumpster Diving Mama, is a well-known diver on TikTok with over 2.4 million subscribers. She shared her experience diving for crumble cookies. In January 2022, she called out the restaurant for throwing away freshly baked cookies. Look, look, wow, there's more. Look at that, more cookies thrown away. And a whole bag of freaking frosting. Like y'all, these are, they're right off the tray. Right, and they're warm. She visited the dumpster a week later and found that crumble cookies had since locked their dumpster. All right guys, we're back at that crumble where we found cookies multiple times. Look what they did. She suspected they did this after she called them out on TikTok. So <laughs> I wouldn't put them on blast anymore. Maybe junk food isn't your thing and you're just looking to make a wholesome meal for your friends and family. You'll be surprised to know full fresh meals are thrown away all the time and completely sealed. TikToker Dumpster Diving Freegan, who has over 400k followers, showed how lucky you can get at a Whole Foods in one of her most viral videos, reaching over 10 million views. Dumpster diving at Whole Foods is nothing like I've ever seen before. Every time I come to this particular store, I find cases of organic food that is thrown out well before its best by date. Last night, I found enough meat to feed an entire community. Her haul included chicken, beef, Beyond Sausage, Beyond Meatballs, sauces, juice, fruits, vegetables, and yogurt. You might be thinking, this food is probably contaminated or on the brink of expiring. Dumpster Diving Freegan explained the food was still good because it was still cold and none of it was expired or recalled. She also said everything had been thrown out on or before its best buy date, but explained food can be eaten past its best buy date. Despite having a large quantity of items she'd collected, she said she left a large amount of food behind. In an interview with The Sun, Dumpster Diving Freegan said she believed she found more than $1,000 worth of food in her Whole Foods haul. In another visit to her local Whole Foods, she found over 100 loaves of bread that were still good to be eaten. During the same haul, she also found expensive toilet paper, boxes of olive oil, apples, potatoes, tea, cups, baby foods, and cakes. That's a lot of food and supplies, which can be wasteful if she isn't able to finish all the food she collected. But Dumpster Diving Freegan shared her solution to this problem, donating. She donates most of her finds to local food banks so that others can benefit from her dives. After one of Dumpster Diving Freegan's videos went viral on Twitter, someone claiming to be a former Whole Foods employee said, I got fired from Whole Foods because I took home the bagels and muffins that they were going to throw in the trash. They also threw away approximately eight pizzas every night and told the Hot Foods department they'd get fired if they ate some without paying first. The Daily Dot spoke to a spokesperson from Whole Foods who denied the claims. Millions of pounds of perishable and non-perishable food to local food banks and food rescue agencies across the United States. Since 2013, Whole Foods Market has donated approximately 180 million pounds of food through our grocery rescue program. This equates to approximately 150 million meals for people in need in our local communities. In 2020 alone, Whole Foods Market donated over 27 million meals to food rescue and redistribution programs nationwide. 
Whole Foods isn't the only company to have an issue with dumping still good products. Bath & Body Works is another company well known in the dumpster diving community. TikToker Leah, also known as Diving with Leah, has over 700k followers and has a number of viral videos. She is known for her successful hauls at the Candle & Fragrance Empire. In one of her most viral videos with over 10 million views, she managed to find several candles and a couple of body lotions. All of this might seem unsanitary, and it may seem hard to reach or climb into dumpsters. Leah showed how she sometimes uses a grabber tool to collect the items. Another popular TikToker, Brandon Tylers, shared how dumpster diving at Bath & Body Works changed his life. In the back of the store, usually after close, when no one's there, you can find these broken candles in their dumpsters for free, okay? They're just usually shattered and you just gotta break the glass off. But anyway, so today I broke the glass off of Frozen Lake. And you know what it honestly smells like? It smells like saving money. Some didn't think this hack was the best way to go about things. How about instead of risking your health from being around broken glass, you can go to Ross or Marshall's for a cheaper price. It's giving Mr. Krabs vibes. Good for you though, haha. Things got interesting when former Bath & Body Works employees commented on the video, bringing up their experiences. I worked there for almost a year and sometimes I would volunteer to take the trash out so I could take all the candle bags and hide them to get later. The amount of product I witnessed being wasted at that place when I worked there was astronomical. As a former Bath & Body Works employee, I'm happy. Seeing all of these free products and how easy it is to get them makes it really intriguing for the normal, everyday person to put it to the test. T. Bales, a lifestyle vlogger with over 130k followers, did just this and documented her first dive on TikTok. Y'all, I did a thing today. I went dumpster diving. I know some of you are like, what in the world? This is so random. But this has been something that I have wanted to do, like, literally forever. Boom. 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 Wow. She said she had been inspired by Dumpster Diving Mama and wanted to try it out for herself. Another popular dumpster diving TikToker, Jennifer, who has over 1 million followers, found a surprising number of party decor items discarded. Oh my god. <laughs> I need streamers. This is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> well, I don't love it. This should never happen. This is, should all be donated to the thrift store, the church, the schools. This is just silly, beyond silly, that this kind of waste exists. People were appalled at the amount wasted. This stuff doesn't expire. Like, it makes no sense. It should be illegal to throw this stuff away instead of donating. If this stuff went to schools, the teachers could use it to decorate their classrooms instead of spending their own money. Someone claiming to be a Party City employee said the store didn't follow procedure. I'm a manager at a party city and all that was supposed to be donated, shaking my head. After cleaning up at Party City, she went to a Five Below dumpster where she found a number of goodies, including a phone case, a wig, a rug, and some essential oils. This time, she claimed 99% of her findings would be donated. Another popular dumpster diving site is CVS Pharmacy. In their dumpsters, divers find all kinds of things, from nail polish to sealed snacks. TikToker Grab It Fast found a whole stash of makeup products in the CVS dumpster. Dumpster Diving Mama found a bag of adorable kids' accessories and stationery. So guys, I'm at CVS and I peeked in and saw this little bag. Oh, I think it's Claire's stuff. Oh my god, they're so cute. The gloss. These are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, headbands. Wow. Diving junkies found perfectly sealed safety items that we all had trouble finding earlier in 2020. I am home at a CVS and there was this box back here and I opened it up. Look at this. Brand new. And they were throwing them away. Look at all these. Just bags full of hand sanitizing wipes. Jennifer hit gold when she found a bag of household products that were cleared from the shelves at the height of the pandemic. Let's see what CVS has for us today. Uh, that looks like a good bag with freaking toilet paper in it. Hold on. Okay, so somebody poked a hole in it, so they have to throw it away. Same with this one, there's a little hole. 
This is amazing. Dumpster diver Priscilla Perez also had good luck at her local CVS. Last night, I found three bags full of food inside of a CVS dumpster, and only about half of this food ended up being past its best buy date. Food and miscellaneous items are not the only things you can find. Fashion items are constantly being thrown out. TikToker Akia Michino found boxes of brand new shoes. Y'all, take a look at this. I just decided to take a peek at one of the Nordstroms, and there was two huge boxes of Steve Madden brand new. TikToker Kayla Stewart found a luxury bag. I spotted this. Check this out. Freaking Louis Vuitton. Made in France, official Louis Vuitton, not a knockoff, I don't think. Real leather, for sure. Glamour D Dye found a box of Gucci perfume. What's even more fun than finding free clothes? Finding furniture in great shape. Leah found an essential piece for every home. This is why I always say, check the boxes. There were two mirrors in here. One is shattered, which is this one. I just got out this one. Look what's not shattered, the second mirror. <laughs> It's only $60, but I was just about to buy a mirror. Glamour D Dye found expensive furniture that your feet will love. This is actually a super high end rug store. As you can see, this one was $8,000. But this dumpster was stacked full of rugs. It was crazy. It did rain and that kind of killed the ones on top. I had to do some digging. I found a couple that I thought were really cool and they weren't even dirty or wet. This rug I found is worth $1,200, super soft, no stains or anything. And this one I found is worth $800, so cute, I can't wait to clean them. TikToker diving junkies hit a jackpot on a gamer's paradise. Guys, right, so I just pulled up two staples, and look at this. In there, look at all these chairs. TikToker Tashmia, also known as Diving with Tash, found a beautiful piece for the living room that usually costs thousands of dollars. But this is a complete full sectional, undamaged. I literally tried my hardest to get this sectional out. I truly did. Dumpster diving doesn't seem like the most exciting thing to do, and you might not like how you smell after. But don't worry, our sponsor for today's video, Scentbird, can help you. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service with over 600 brands, including luxury names like Prada, Gucci, and Versace. It's a flexible subscription, allowing you to skip any month without penalties. If you love changing up your scent or having a different fragrance for different occasions, Scentbird also allows you to upgrade your subscription to receive two to three products a month. If you're still exploring what scent speaks to you, Scentbird makes it easy by sending you a 30-day supply so you can try it out first before committing to a full bottle. No matter your budget, there's room for everyone. A full bottle costs between $150 to $500, and the 30-day supply costs $16. Here are some of our favorite scents. A beautiful chocolatey flowery smell called Signature For Her by English Laundry for those romantic date nights. Or you might just really like sweets like us. A refreshingly fruity smell called Be Delicious by DKNY to stay energized and feel ready for the day. A favorite when running errands or working from home. A sun-kissed smell called Cedar in Acacia by Sense of Wood for the men in our life. If fragrances aren't something you normally use, Scentbird has you covered with a simple quiz. Based on your preferences, they'll help you find a fragrance you'll love. Thank you to our sponsor, Scentbird. Check the links in the description below for a special discount. Use code SPILL55 to get 55% off. You can get your first month's supply for just $7. Now back to the story. Dumpster diving seems like a no-brainer. Free food and products can save a whole lot of money. But not everyone has the best experiences. Some dives are disappointing when items are purposely broken. Here are just a few. A cut-up coach shoe and bag cut up Victoria's Secret bras, torn up bags of pet food from an unnamed pet store, scribbled decorative signs and lanterns with missing glass, Bed Bath & Beyond spray painted, sliced up, and poured coffee grounds on the products going into the dumpster. Junk food is also cut up. Here at CVS, and look what they did. 
I open every bag of candy, not the nerds, but like every single bag. Unfortunately, that's not the most disappointing thing you can find during your dive. Things hit a whole new level of shock and disgust when some people found live pets thrown away outside pet stores. TikToker Glamour D Dive found a creature of the sea. Okay guys, I am so disgusted. Oh my gosh. This beta fish, no talk. He was floating in styrofoam with mixed up water. It's really hard to tell, but I promise he's alive. Glamour D Dive ended up saving the betta fish and putting him in the fish tank she already owned. On another occasion, Glamour D Dive found another live fish, a fairy wrasse. This is the box that came in. They threw their fish deliveries in the cardboard dumpster. Unfortunately, this fish was having a tough time. Glamour D Dive explained that due to being in the trash for hours, the fish developed an illness called swim bladder disease, causing it to swim upside down. Okay, I'm home now. You can see, you can actually see now that he is alive. TikToker Rose D Diving found a small furry animal in the dumpster outside a pet store. Wait, I am dumpster diving and there is something moving inside this bag. Oh my god. Is it a hamster or a mouse? No, a hamster. Oh my gosh. Rose took the hamster home and gave her a new home. Multiple people found small feathery animals in the dumpster. Uh, I am shocked, uh, appalled, I'm angry. Look at this guy. Hello. Oh my god, it's a live bird. Are you kidding me? I just found him in dumpster look what i found in pekka's dumpster and i thought it was a toy one of the dumpster divers found the bird during working hours and approached the petco manager about the terrifying situation he didn't have much to say this was in your trash this is a live bird that was in the petco trash and it's a parakeet a lot that is not what we do now well, this is unacceptable. Yeah, I agree. I Aside from the terrifying finds, Petco also trashes pet supplies. TikToker Glamour D Dive went to a Petco and found a puppy gate, dog toys, and even a shock collar. So, why do people dumpster dive? The reasons may inspire you to live life more fearlessly and strategically. In an interview with The Sun, dumpster diving Freegan revealed she works full-time in a financial position, but wants to save up enough money so she's able to retire by the age of 30. She explained she is part of the FIRE movement, which stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. She added that in addition to saving money through her hauls, she's also able to donate large portions of her findings to food banks. Others, such as professional dumpster diver Matt Malone, use dumpster diving to provide additional income for themselves. Despite earning a six-figure salary at a consulting firm, Matt spends most of his off-time dumpster diving and reselling barely tampered products for profit, which makes more money than his full-time job. Cameron McLeish, another dumpster diver, wrote a personal piece for the Huffington Post, where he spoke about the benefits of diving. I'm standing in front of fresh artisanal breads, crisp green vegetables, fine gourmet cheeses, and pristine slabs of meat. These things are expensive and out of my budget. Or they would be, except they're all free. This seemingly endless buffet is one of the many times I've discovered high-quality food while dumpster diving around the U.S. He claimed to have gotten his start as a college student living in London. Most of his grocery shopping was done at night due to his busy schedule. When the store would be closing, he noticed they would put fresh produce out in bags. When he asked to purchase it, the employees refused to sell it to him because of liability risks. So Cameron took the opportunity to begin dumpster diving. He said he continued to dumpster dive while traveling the world and learned that food waste is a global problem. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, 40% of America's food goes to waste. Dumpster diving is especially popular with people who want to live sustainable lifestyles. It gives them the opportunity to take someone else's waste and give an item a new life, or put it to use before it expires. Most of us still associate dumpsters with gross trash, so how do these influencers find all these good quality items for free? 
Shell Bisley, a YouTuber who focuses on sustainable and low-waste living, shared how she safely dumpster dives at Ulta. She goes equipped with a headlight and gloves to keep herself safe while diving. This is my setup, my GoPro, and my headlamp. As we mentioned, Ulta often destroys their products before throwing them away to prevent customers from diving and trying to return the items for money. In some cases, it's illegal to dumpster dive at Ulta. In a past video of ours, a former employee mentioned diving could be considered stealing. Feeling. So, is it possible for you to safely dumpster dive? Planning and knowing your stores are key. Make sure you know the laws in the area. Frugal Mama from the Frugal Family on YouTube advises not to trespass or pick locks. Picking a dumpster lock is considered trespassing. Frugal Mama said there's a lot she takes into consideration when diving, such as if the place has security guards, what time it opens and closes, when is garbage pickup day so she can time the dive perfectly, and she always makes sure to have room in her car. Dumpster Diving Freegan gave advice on which kinds of foods are okay to take. One, never take warm food. <sighs> Dang it, these are warm. So I'll take probably one or two of these bags. Those are too warm for me to take, so I'm actually gonna throw them back in the dumpster. To I don't take broken items. I was able to save five of the little aloe plants. And Three only take failed items. Bananas being thrown out. I did just find, oh, it's still cold. Uh, some turkey bacon, take a look at that. It's still cold and sealed, so I'll probably take that. But is dumpster diving actually legal? Can someone get in trouble for it? Dumpster diving is technically legal in all 50 states, but some cities have garbage ordinances and can ban dumpster diving within their municipalities and cities. Furthermore, some locations require a permit or license to dumpster dive. According to Treasure Pursuits, several cities in Illinois, such as Chicago, Aurora, Rockford, and Juliet, require permits ranging from $50 to $250, depending on the city. So, as you can see, it's very important to check the laws within your city before you dive. Another important law to consider is, if a dumpster is on private property, it's illegal to trespass and look inside. It just looks like a bunch of boxes, and that's about it. That, no. All right. You can also get a trespassing charge if you break off the lock to access the trash or enter the property when there are no trespassing signs. Laws vary from state to state, but take California for example. A trespassing charge could land someone up to six months in jail and a fine of up to $1,000. But what happens if you get caught, even if it's legal in your city? They were watching from inside, but it's legal to dumpster dive. Most of the time, it will go smoothly. Side, I kept diving. And you wouldn't believe what happened next. Not a damn thing. But some employees take it more seriously. Dumpster divers Chris and Holly shared their awkward interaction at Walmart, a situation no one ever wants to find themselves in. I had like eight employees come out. Right after we turned the camera off. Six to eight employees came out. We're like, you can't be doing that here. Uh, they warned yeah, us if, if come we come back, back we're, we're pressing charges. Dumpster diver Jennifer had bad luck with one employee. I've only been caught like three times. And the only one time somebody was actually like kind of upset about it and like said, you know, just told me to leave basically. Like nothing bad happened. Sometimes things get a bit scary when security shows up, but the interactions aren't always bad. Glamour D Dive showed us a glimpse of what a positive interaction with the authorities can look like. Hi! Ah, let's do again, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, so diving again. Yes, I was, um... I was like, it's, uh, I'm familiar with this car. Yeah, I was getting bath and body work. As long as you do your research and are there legally, it's likely no one will bother you. YouTuber Abandoned Exploration Squad and a friend were stopped by police when they were diving at Party City and explained they were dumpster diving for candy and gifts to donate to local food banks and women's shelters. They shared their positive experience. They understand like that we were there with good intentions. We weren't like we weren't trying to take all this candy for ourselves. We were trying to donate it and like make the world a better place and they understood that. 
but sometimes you can still get in trouble. Welcome to the dark side of dumpster diving, where laws may not be so clear cut, and the reason why products are trashed may go unnoticed. TikToker Grab It Fast was stopped by a police officer and security guard, and their initial interaction was positive. There's no, no trespassing on it, it's not locked. There's a lock there that they could very well use and they don't. Yeah, that's, I'm looking at all that same stuff as far as stuff once it goes into the dumpster, it's been a free game. Mm -hmm. But things took a turn for the worse when a small detail was shared. Well, the lid was closed. Okay. It's on. It's on. technically be breaking at that point. Mm -hmm. um, just because the lid's closed? Yeah, because you had to move something in order to access I just, it. I just opened it. Yeah, but opening is the breaking. So when they say breaking and entering, it doesn't necessarily mean physically breaking something. It means basically like opening. Like if a door is unlocked, but you open the door to enter, you've now broken. As you can see, things can get pretty messy if the store decides to pursue any legal action against you because of a minor detail. I'm just gonna grab your information. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask you to leave for the night. YouTuber Thubprint was looking through garbage bins outside people's homes, but someone in the neighborhood was angry about this and called the cops on him. What you uh, doing here today? Well, I was looking for the bottles that people left out after Canada Day. Well, yeah. I'll get your license registration insurance proof. After a long discussion, the officers decided they wouldn't arrest him, but instead would tow his car, which he had to pay vehicle-related fines for. A few people share their unfortunate experiences in the comments of TikTok dumpster diving videos. My brother took melted down aluminum from a dumpster and he ended up arrested and is now a felon due to the value of the aluminum. Be careful. My girls and I got caught, was told next time we will be given a citation. One viewer warned other dumpster divers to be careful at Ulta. Be careful dumpster diving at Ulta, they break glass and pour chemicals sometimes on accident on stuff. Dumpster diver Bin Bin also exposed how one Dollar Tree made it deadly to consume any of the food thrown away. So it looks like they poured out all of the food and then covered it in bleach. Other stories were so outrageous they made it into the news. The Washington Post reported a story from October 2016, where two brothers, Tom and Sam Troyer, were arrested while dumpster diving outside a CVS store in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Not only were they looking for food for themselves, but they were looking to donate the large amounts of discarded food to charities. Unfortunately, their good nature got them into serious trouble. The Troyers were arrested and charged with defiant trespassing and loitering and prowling at night, both third-degree misdemeanors. While avoiding an arrest can sometimes be in your control, health risks are harder to predict. Much of the produce looks perfectly fine, but we can't see the potential dangers with a simple glance. A big reason companies throw out large quantities of food is often due to recalls or food expiring. Eating contaminated or expired food could leave someone exposed to a number of viruses. In December 2021, BizTac Enterprises Incorporated and BizTac Groceries Incorporated recalled every single product they made because of salmonella caused by a rodent infestation. In early February 2022, the Centers for Disease Control (CDC) recalled onions from the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico as they were linked to a salmonella outbreak. Thankfully, the outbreak ended quickly and no one lost their life, but over a thousand people got sick from it. Early February 2022 also had the CDC recalling salad mixes produced by Dole as they were linked to cases of listeria. This ended tragically, claiming two lives. Up to 500 items per year are pulled from the shelves by the American Food and Drug Association (FDA). The scary part is, food with salmonella doesn't taste any different from uninfected food, so it's not easy to tell if what you're eating has been contaminated. Food Safety News reported the list of recalled foods may include dry foods such as grains, beans, flour, grocery canned goods, fats and oils, drinks, meat products, fish products, baked goods, spices, and milk powder. And what about the expired foods? Foodborne illnesses could be your enemy. In r slash dumpster diving, someone asked if people had ever gotten sick eating dumpster food and people had varying responses. Someone with 30 years of dumpster diving experience only got sick a few times, but explained how it can be different for others. 20 years ago, I got mono, probably from secondhand food. I've gotten the runs a few times from stuff that was going bad, but I drink a lot of espresso anyway. One of my roommates has a sensitive stomach and we are keeping him away from the dumpster food mostly. In general, I have a good sense of what I can eat after 30 years of doing this. Another user said a friend of theirs had gotten sick. My friend got really sick from eating what looked like freshly thrown out warm Chinese food. Well, the next thing you know, he had 
piss for days and vomit constantly. Ended up with a bad case of staff. I understand most people will avoid dumpster Chinese food, haha, but there are some who take that chance. You have to learn to accept that dumpster food is never 100% safe to eat. The Canadian Medical Association Journal released an article talking about the health risks that can come with eating dumpster food. Jim Chan, the manager of food safety at Toronto Public Health in Ontario, cautions people that there's a reason people throw food out. Carla Esco, a public health consultant and professor in the Environmental Health Department at Concordia University College in Edmonton, Alberta, spoke of how risky dumpster diving can be as no one knows what's in the garbage. Carla brought up a number of risks that divers face, including possible injuries from nails, broken glass, and other sharp objects that may be in a dumpster. There's also the possibility of becoming ill from bacteria, as the dumpsters themselves are breeding grounds for bacteria and some are sprayed with pesticides. The food in the bins can come into contact with these pesticides and even fecal matter from outdoor animals, which can infect any open wounds, according to Carla. Jim added that washing food also doesn't guarantee the chemicals or pesticides will be washed away. Common food poisoning can set in within 6 to 16 hours of eating the food. However, However, foodborne illnesses like hepatitis A can take anywhere from 15 to 50 days to make itself known. Disease isn't the only thing to worry about when diving. Your life could be on the line. In January 2020, a North Carolina woman went missing while presumably dumpster diving. A month later, 30-year-old Stephanie Cox's remains were found in a landfill. Investigators believe while Stephanie was dumpster diving at a five below in her area, Stephanie was unable to make it out of the dumpster before it was serviced by a garbage truck. The Burlington, North Carolina Police Department released a statement about the situation. This case brings to light the dangers associated with collections from dumpsters. The commonly known practice of dumpster diving is not safe. Dumpster diving may seem like a good way to save money and reduce waste, but it's not worth risking your life over. With all these dumpsters seemingly filled with unsold food and products, you might be wondering how, and why, we got here in the first place. And you may be wondering how we can stop this waste, especially food waste. But the answers aren't exactly easy, and the solutions don't work for everyone. In our past video, we spoke about why stores overstock their shelves just to throw a lot of it out. A lot of the time, it can be hard to estimate how much product they'll need, so they'll order extra to avoid running out or they'll overstock to encourage consumers to buy more. Unfortunately, large retailers and supermarkets don't have a perfect system figured out. In fact, according to The Guardian, approximately 45% of all fruits and vegetables, 35% of fish and seafood, 30% of cereals, and 20% of meat and dairy products are wasted by retailers and suppliers. This isn't necessarily the buyer's fault, but we can help do our part by reducing waste in our lives by doing things like composting, recycling, and reusing items. If you want to take things a step further, you can shop at farmer's markets as they contribute to less waste. Sadly, a lot of food and products will continue to get tossed. And as long as that continues, dumpster divers will continue to give this waste a new life. Dumpster diving isn't for the faint of heart. Getting caught by employees or officers can be embarrassing or frightening for some. The situation is even more nerve-wracking when there's a possibility you could be charged for a number of unrelated issues. It's a strange world we live in, where taking someone's trash can still upset them, even if the end result has a positive effect on the world. I called one of the store managers. I said, I'm not wanting to make a mess or anything. I was just wondering if, um, if it was okay if I checked in your dumpster and stuff, and she was like, well, um, I put locks on my dumpster because people were stealing out of my dumpster, so, and that made me so, I, I wanted to laugh so bad, stealing out of your dumpsters. I just don't understand how people think the way that they think it's like it's going to the landfill why do you even care dumpster diving is a way of living for many people it's their way of feeling liberated and allows them to give back to the community in ways they never could before as long as you respect the laws within your city and stay protected dumpster diving is harmless this is the story about how dumpster divers are changing how we see waste